Hello friends, welcome back to Slip Recorder and we are back with our video. In this video, we will learn how we can increase the rating and reviews of our Flutter application by implementing the in-app review. With the help of implementing this feature, we can also increase the download of our application. To understand how we can do that, you have to watch the video till end. I will explain how we can do the same. So this is our application. You can see here we are getting the message. Enjoy our app. If you like our app, please give us rating on Google Play Store. And we have two buttons. First one is a rate now and the second one is a not now. Thanks. If you click on the rate now, it will land us to the Google Play Store or the app or if you are using the iOS, it will land us to the Apple Store. And the second button is not now. Thanks. And then if user click on this button, it, the pop-up will again come on the basis of the condition which we will specify in the application. So before starting a video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So in Flutter, we have two type of packages which mainly support the in-app review. First one is the in underscore app underscore review and this package exactly give the UI same as that native UI. You can see here we have this UI and for the iOS also it is giving exactly the same native UI. But in this video, we are not going to use this package because this package is a good package, but it is lacking some of the features like it is just giving you to pop up that review and all. But whatever the package we are going to in this video, having other feature also like after how many days we have to show the pop up for the in app review and all. And also we can have the multiple feature or more. So let's explore that package also. And this is a package which we are going to use that is rate underscore my underscore app. And this package is having a multiple features like you can see here, we can define here minimum days like minimum days since the first app launched, then we have the minimum launches. We can also mention that after how many launches of the app, we can show that pop up of the app rating and all. So these type of feature it is having. So on the basis of that, we can just use in our application. So let's move to the flutter part and there we will integrate this package with the help of our flutter application and all and over that we have to create one wrapper file for integrating this package so first of all we have to add the package here and here we will add the package and this is the package rate underscore my underscore app so now we will save it it will get the package from that server so now we have to create one helper file and for this we will go there in the lib folder and there we will create a new file rate underscore app dot dot file and here we will create the wrapper file here we will write class app rating here we'll create one function that is rate app here we'll provide the build context here we'll create the object for rate my app rate my app is equal to rate my app and here we have to give some parameters first when we prefix preference prefix and this will be the shared preference and we have to specify what it will start with the prefix name and we will write here rate my app underscore then we have min days min days means we have to show this rating pop up from how many days of uh, installing the application for the testing purpose we are just putting a zero but in the actual we can put here 15 or we can put here 10 days it is enough for the user to test the application and on the basis of that they can provide the rating and the reviews of that application then we have minimum launches that means after how many launches we have to show that pop up uh, it means like if the user installed the application but they have not launched the application like they just launched the application only one or two times then it will be not making any sense to show the rating app to the user and for that purpose also we can define here for how many launches of the application we can show the rating pop up to the user and for the testing we will just put it to then we have the remind days so in the application we have a rate now or we have the not now later button and this will be used for the later button like if user click on the later that means how many days we have to remind the user that they have to rate the application and for the testing we'll put here zero but in real application we can put here 10 or 15 days or we can put here five days because this is the reminder same is for the remind launches and here also we will put here one only 
after that how many times the application launches we have to show the reminder to the user then we have to put the google play identifier this will be the package name of our application like we will put a com dot example dot app so when user click on the rate my application it will land the user to that play store same for that app store also but there we have to put that application number for the testing we will just put here sample id after that we have to call here rate my app dot initialize dot 10 and here we will change it to underscore and then here we will check if rate my app dot show dialog open then we will call here rate my app dot show rating dialog then we have to provide here all the parameters first one is by default context then we have title what type of title we have to give here we will put here enjoy our app next one is a message we have to show the message here if you like our app please rate in google store then we have the rate button text we can put here a rate now we can also change it to anything like give the rating like that way also we can do then we have the no button we also have the no button also that means if the user don't want to give any rating that also we can put here but here we are just showing here no and then we have the later button and here we will put not now later then also we have the listener for this event like if user click on the rate button we can have any custom function we have to call that also we can do by with the help of this listener here and here we have button and here we can put the switch case and and on the basis of that we can just get what button is clicked by the user here we can put the first case like rate my app dot rate button then we will print here click on rate then we have the second case rate my app dot no we can print here click on no and here we can put the break also same here we can also give then we have the last case that is rate my app dot later here we can have print click on later and here we have break and by default we will return it true then we can create the style of the dialog and for now we are just using a by default dialog and we will put here dialog style as a constant dialog style it will render the default style and in case user click on the dismiss or user click on the background of that application then also we can handle that thing with the help of that own dismiss and there we are just calling here rate my app dot call event and the event we will put here rate event type later button press that means user click on the rate button press so what we did here we have just created one function that is rate app in the parameter we are just passing here build context then we are just initializing our rate my app there we have preference prefix then we have minimum days like from how many days after using the app we have to show the pop-up then we have the minimum launches that means from how many launches of the application we have to show the pop-up to the user same for the reminder days when the user click on the later button then we have to make sure after this number of days we have to show the pop-up again same with the remind launches also after how many launches of the application we have to show the reminder of the pop-up again for the rating then we have the google play identifier this will be used when the user click on the rate application it will land the user to that application in the play store and there user can rate the application then we have the app store identifier same way user if we have to give that uh, app store id and user when click on that rate my application then the user will be landed to the app store and then we are just calling here rate my app dot initialize and there we are just checking if rate my app dot show open dialog then we are just calling here rate my app dot show rate dialog and then we have the context we have the title here of the pop-up title then we have the message here we are putting here if you like our app please rate in the google store then we have the rate button and the text for that we are putting here rate now then we have the no button and the text of that is no then we have the later button and text for the same is not now later then we have the listener here whenever any button click we can also handle that click event also for that then we have the style of the dialog we are using a default dialog style then we have the on dismiss we are just when the pop-up is closed by user by click on the background or somewhere else then we are just calling here 
rate my app event type as a later button press event so now we will go to our main dot dart file and here in the there we have created one page that is home page and there we will call this rate functionality here we will initialize it final app rating app rating is equal to app rating and from here we will call app rating dot rate my app and we'll provide a context so now we will run our application and see is it working or not and from here we'll click start debugging so here you can see we have our application but we are not getting any pop-up because here we have mentioned minimum days is zero and minimum launches is two so now we will reload our application and then our launch will be second times then it pop-up will become so now click on the reload here so here now you can see we are getting the pop-up here after the second launch of our application and there we have enjoy our app if you like our app please rate in google play store then we have three button here first one is a rate now then we are no, not now later then we have the no button here so if we click on the rate now the pop-up will be closed and it will permanently close and we will go to the app store in that case but if in case we are clicking on that not now later it will again open a pop-up on the basis of these two conditions that is remind days and the remind launches and the third one is a no button and that will be used if if the user don't want to give any rating in that case if you click on the no the pop-up will never come again to the user so for now we will just click on the not now later so here you can see pop-up has been disappear so now again we will reload our application and here we have mentioned minimum remind launches will be one so pop-up will be come again so here you can see we are getting the pop-up again after one launch so now if i click on the rate now user will be landed to the app store if i click here right now you can see here that google play store has been opened but it is giving the error because that identifier name we have added the invalid name that's why it is not able to find the application and here in the app you can see there is no pop-up and if we again click on the reload the pop-up will never come again because we already rated the application so here you can see we re reloaded the application but we are not getting any pop-up again that means that pop-up has been disabled because the user already rated the application so in this way we can also increase the download of our application because if we have maximum number of reviews and rating in our application the user get excited to inst install the application on the basis of the rating and the review but sometimes user hesitate to give the ratings for that purpose we can integrate this package in the application itself by putting some condition like minimum days of installing the application minimum launches remind days and remind launches on the basis of these condition we can force the user to give the rating in our application as many as user give the rating then the, our application rating will be increases and the google also recommend our application on the basis of the rating and all and this way we can increase that download also because most of the user download the application on the basis of the rating itself so in this way we can increase the downloads of our application so that's all in this video i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video